So you're building a lifestyle of, of, of really loving yourself. That's the first thing that has to happen. Um, and loving yourself in the way you are a daddy warbuck, so adopt yourself as, as the Cinderella for once. Adopt yourself and give yourself all the little things you want. It's not just it's not material, it's delight. Good morning and welcome now to Wednesday. And let me say, happy Love Fest Day. I love you. Today, your heart will be restored with a mega wattage of self-love and gratitude. From my smartphone to yours, keep streaming for your Wednesday. Namaste today. Welcome to Namaste Today, the most loving way to start your day. I'm your host and spiritual life coach, Christopher Watecki. I work with the modality of psychic astrology, and I'm on a personal mission to stand in my heart, walk in the light, and help other people stand in theirs. Namaste, my friend. Welcome now to Wednesday, and happy Love Fest Day. I love you. Today is the most powerful day of the month to feel love, but because this is a Leo Love Fest Day, this is the most intense love fest of the entire year. In fact, I believe it is the start of the reason you were born, and I think today is the start of falling in love with yourself in a whole new way. So we're going to talk about uh, some exciting things ahead in your megascope. But first, let's take a look at your zodiac weather. This zodiac weather is for Wednesday, August 3rd, 2016. Looking ahead at the five-day mood cast, Tomorrow is going to be a sunny day with lots of cool new learning. Friday, I predict it to be humid with some growing pains. And Saturday is cloudy, but you will be balancing out. But today, I predict sunny and super loving. Happy Love Fest Day. Sensei loves you. Now, the Great Human Walk has reached Step 11 Leo today. That means our ruling channel is Channel 11, I Become. And that means the ruling planet today is Chiron. Now, our emotional focus is super duper loving. The moon will cross over Venus in Leo today, Act 3 of Leo. And our mental focus will be, I think I get it. Mercury is at Step 5, Virgo. So today, there is actually a trick to accepting all this love. And in your Megascope, I'll give you three steps to opening up. But first, grab yourself a cup of tea, and let's have our daily tea time. Hello, my friend, and welcome to our tea time. Today's tea time topic is a fun one, my twin flame. That's right. I'm going to tell the story about how I met my twin flame. And that's because, well, for one, I think it'll help a lot of people. So many of my clients ask about twin flames. So many people post comments about twin flames. So I want to share what I know anyways from my experiences of what I've gone through. First of all, the way I met my twin flame was an absolute miracle. Uh, which I brought up many times, uh, but uh, I had, uh, you know, prayed to the angels for help, and this angel reader had came, and we started working every week. Uh, she was kind enough to work with me every week, and we were doing session after session where the angels were revealing to me lots of details about past lives in one day, uh, and different uh, details. Uh, and one day, uh, she's sitting there kind of channeling, and she suddenly goes pale, just absolutely pale, and I'm like, what? What's, what? What are they saying? She's like, I don't know how to tell. Mm. And she's all like, you know, like upset and like doesn't know how to translate. And I was like, what? What is it? You know, like, and I could kind of, t I just somehow, she just, I, I felt like I knew what she's going through. And I was just like, what, what has startled you like this? You can tell me. It'll be all right. Like, I can handle it. And she's like, they're saying we're twin flames. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, and she's like, I know, right? You know, like, we both were like, no, like, oh. <laughs> And honestly, when I heard that, I, I went into a total ego uh, rampage where I was like, oh, my God, this is just some chick in another country that's trying to get to my heart and blah, blah, blah. And this whole thing has been not real. And, but, and, and she started arguing with me, and, and we got into an argument. 
And the weird thing is, is like in the argument, bless you, Bella, in the argument, uh, she, I realized that I was losing. <laughs> okay. Like, and I never lose arguments. Like, like I've always very, you know, I, I, I don't know. There's something in me that loves to argue. Actually, I was raised by arguing family. So like you give me an argument, like there's suddenly there's a sport. And this person was like, touche in me every way and um and we didn't talk you know we we ended up taking some time or whatever and you know to kind of propel the story we uh you know and she unfolded a lot of different things and these things were more private i was like holy shift i think this person is my twin flame now here's what i realized the one of the reason, reasons i thought she was is because really what convinced me was when she argued like i did she basically argued with me the same tactics that i would argue and we'd never argued before. So when I, when I was suddenly, I was literally up against myself in a fight. And only you know that. You know what I mean? It's like, what? You know, like, these are, these are things that I would use. These are tactics I would use. Like, you know what I mean? Another, another thing that, you know, like, convinced me was she had my son's birthday. She had the same birthday as my son. Now, I have seen that this is common in Twin Flames with my clients where, um, the twin flame is the exact birthday of someone in their life. It's almost like someone in their life was holding space for the flame to come. And so that, so I saw that and I was like, okay, that's an interesting sign. Um, but you know, at, at the end of the day, it, it was a deeper exploration of getting to know each other that made me realize she was. And here's what I realized. First of all, from the perspective of what her and I are, I think there's different levels of flames. There's twin flames and there's earth flames. We'll talk about earth flames another time. That has to do with, um, I think, an aspecting, okay? But from the twin flame level, it's literally that you're the same soul on the other side. Like, you come from the same branch, all right? And that you are literally, when you're twin flames, it's you incarnating in two bodies at the same time. That's what I believe. And I really believe it when I came in front of my twin flame. Like, I was like, this is me. She argues like me. She acts like me. Now, and, and personally, I found me annoying. <laughs> I have to say, like, I, you know, like I, I think I want to get away from me. That's why I'm on Earth. You know what I mean? Like, so uh, it was, you know, it was that sort of thing. Now, we had the advantage of um, the angels telling us our path life history when we had last been on Earth together. And the last time we were on Earth together, it was a ro crazy romantic story. We were very romantic. It was the total what you hear about with uh, with twin flame stories. And I think you know, you know, this is just my theory. It's phil spiritual philosophy here, but I believe that you know, one of the first times you come together with your twin flame, you are crazy excited, enamored with them, because they basically are you and everything you've ever been looking for. And so you get kind of a whole lifetime of just indulging in you. That's why twin flames have this, you know, they're in bed forever. It's basically, forgive the term, masturbation with another. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like forever. And then they have, and they go off and that's all they do. And they and it's tragedy. And it's Romeo and Juliet sometimes. And it's all those sorts of things. But I had seen in my understanding, my, you know, talking to her and whatnot, that like, you know, we had done that. And this time, you know, I don't know. You know, like that was my perspective. Like I was like, hmm, feel, felt more like a twin sister uh, was the way she felt. And um, and but the most convincing thing uh, was for me uh, was that when I got to know her, she had so many of the same traits that I do. She was a classic musician like I was. And what was interesting is, is that she was doing all the traits I'd put down. So when I was young, I'd been a classic musician. I put it down. Well, she did it for a living. When she was young, she'd done reading. She put it down. Now she's classic. I, you know, so like her and I both were training. She was an angel reader. I was an astrologer. Like there was a lot of like common ground there. We also understood our past life history. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, I felt like, I mean, my, and I just want to wrap it up with this to share is like, I think everyone has their own story. But I think that the thing that you know that convinces you is you literally see yourself in this person. And part of the story, I think if, if you're meant to be with your twin flame in this life, you're meant to live with your twin flame. Because I think a lot of times twin flames don't incarnate. They're completely in the dream realm and they visit you all in your dreams and never actually ever come. And I think that that... You, you know, you have to kind of have a conversation dream to find out, like, is, are you ever coming down here or should I hang out? Or I think sometimes they hold space. I think, I mean, sometimes they never even come. I think they stay in, you know, um, you know, they stay on the other side. Sometimes they're on other planets. You know what I mean? Like, I really think we have, I think as humans, we're, we're totally new at this whole thing. But I will say, as I want to say, is like, and this is kind of a joke, you know, 
I really did a lot of soul searching. I was like, wow, do I want to be with uh, my other self and have two of me, you know, or whatever. But when I was with me, I was triggering me, <laughs> okay? And what I basically said, and it was triggering her. And I, and I think that, like, you know, we were both like, no, you know, high five, but whatever. And my attitude was like, so, so just to be clear, we're the same soul back in heaven, right? Like, she's like, yep. And I was like, well, then I'll see you at home. <laughs> so I was you like, know, have a good life. See you at home. <laughs> you know, like, and so that's kind of how I ended up. So without further ado, um, you know, uh, there is more of that story, but I think that's all I want to share at the moment. Uh, but, you know, we're in Leo. People are in a past life moment. People are coming into past life things. I want to share with you uh, my experiences with uh, Twin Flame. The other half of me I couldn't fit in in this lifetime. Okay, three breaths. Okay, so uh, actually, it's it's a wonderful day. Um, love is bright today. Uh, integrity is bright today. Uh, you're meant to come into your heart today. And uh, truly, what I was saying earlier is true. People are opening up a vortex right now. So we have Jupiter at 22, and uh, the moon will cross over Venus. So it's kind of like signing the soul contract. Uh, you might go, Chris, bring this down to reality, Sensei Chris. Well, here's, here's the reality. The reality is, is that um, whatever you're doing in your heart, and if you're following your heart, you're on the right path. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, knowing this cosmic moment. I just personally, as a soothsayer, really get a, tri a kick out of um, knowing when fate and things are about to take over. Uh, for you today, this is about loving yourself, celebrating yourself, coming into the part of yourself you love. Um, the way you get on your karmic path is you follow the parts of yourself you love. You be the parts of yourself you love and you make time for the parts of yourself that you love. Now that said, I want to give you three steps to accepting the love today on Love Fest Day. Step one, shelter your heart from turbulence. All right, so take yourself out of the craziness. Take yourself away from the office. Like Take yourself out of the turbulence uh, so that you can have a moment to eat some love, to digest and accept. Step two, feel the status of your heart now. All right, A lot of people can't take a compliment because they're already hurting. They can't take a bow because they're feeling shy. You need to know how you're feeling now and kind of be there for yourself if you expect to open up and accept love. Step three, when you do get love and you've done these other steps, take that love straight to the heart. In other words, allow yourself to feel that love. Hold that note for a moment. It's almost like stretching. You just want to like hold as long as you can. Don't worry, it's going to disappear. Anything that feels good goes away like a little cloud. So enjoy it as much as you can while you can. Now for those watching over my personal sensei service today, I'm going to give you some tips on how to identify your twin flame. So what are the tips to identifying your twin flame? In case you have someone in mind that you want to do a checklist and your three o'clock eye candy, I'm going to tell you where you need to accept and receive love today. All right, where you need to accept and receive love today. My bet is it's already showed up for you today. Did you accept it? I hope you did. Now, if you're watching us on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at C Wateki. And if you want to be helped with the, to become the bright star that you really are, come on down to our community of light, SeriousJoy.tv, where you'll find out more about my personal reading sale. I am doing a reading sale right now. I'm limiting the amount of hours I'm going to do in August and September because I'm doing some new development for uh, Serious Joy. So if your heart wants it, I would say jump on it right now. Uh, space is limited. Find out more at SeriousJoy.tv or Wateki.me is also a quick one. All right, my friends, I am so grateful to be of soul service. When you're out there uh, accepting love and telling everyone you love them, remember, I love you. I appreciate you. And until next time, live, love, be. You know, there's a secret in your birthday to courage, and courage leads to love. Are you ready to find out the truth? I have the answer. You too can find the truth if you dare. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com.